So today's lecture is just going to be a short video on just kind of some concepts that I found that students have struggled with a little bit. So I just wanted to give this short video where we'll actually walk through the code and create a WPF data grid and we're going to bind that to a list of objects. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Here's our main window that I've created for us and I've also just created a blank data grid called data grid main employees. And this is going to be similar to some of the other lectures, but it'll hopefully get the, the point across of what we're trying to do. So before we do anything, let's go to our employee class here. And the point of this application would be just to display the employee data and then pass that same data to another window and display it there. So we'll have our main window, which then displays the data. And then we'll have a button on this window that will actually open up our second window here and we want to pass that same list of employees to this data grid to be displayed. So we're going over a few different concepts that students tend to struggle with. So let's go ahead and take a look at this employee class first. So let's just keep this really simple. And so all we're going to do here is we'll just write some code. It just has three auto implemented properties, an ID, a first name and last name. And this is pretty typical for a lot of classes that I create where it's just an empty class that has nothing but attributes in it. So it's just made to be instantiated and hold just that object's data. Now down here in the employee manager class, let's go ahead and create a list of employees now. So this manager's class, the whole point of it is to maybe extract the data from a database or, or whatever is needed, maybe a file of how to get this information. So we're going to pretend by just, hey, when this class gets instantiated, just fill up this list with two objects, and that's all. So we just dummied it up with some data. And that way we have something to work with. And this is pretty typical also, just to make sure you have things wired up and working correctly. So now we have our two classes that we can use. So first thing, let's go back to our main window. And you can see we've got this data grid here called main employees. So let's say data grid employees dot item source. And what do we want to set this to? Well, we want to set this equal to our new list of employees that we created. So what we're going to have to do is in our employee manager class over here, we're going to want to instantiate an object of this so that when the constructor gets called, we have two employees in our public list here. So let's go ahead and say CLS employee manager. You'll see, let's see, my employee manager new employee manager and so now what we can do is we can just set that equal to our list of employees so now when we run the code you can see that now our list has been bound to our data grid and it's automatically displaying I have other WPF lectures that will go over you know how you can uh, change the column headers and, and things of that nature but this hopefully just gets that concept across. So you don't want to loop through these items and add them here. You want to just bind this list of items to the item source. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, as they're selecting items in the data source, that way you can just pull out each individual employee object as you need to do something with them. If you need to delete an object, add an object, or you know, you're know they're trying to update a given uh, row in the data grid, and so now you can just extract that particular employee object and get it. So now if we go back over here, let's go ahead and open up our toolbox. And so the next issue I see a lot of students that they have, this button, the whole point of this button is just to open up our other window. So we'll just get that on there and open it up. And so now we've got this other main window, this main window one, and you can see it's got a data grid on here. And so the idea being that this window one shouldn't know anything about the main window. The main window should pass everything to it. Well, how do we want to do that? Well, let's do a property, for instance, or a method, e either way. So what I did was, is I created us a method real quick called display employees. And so it's just a public method. So the outside world, basically the main window will call this method and they'll pass in that list for us. And then we'll bind that list to our data grid. So here's our data grid right here display employees on this window one and so we're just binding it so again this main window or th this window one doesn't have to know anything about how this data was extracted anything it just has it passed to it and now it displays it so now back onto our main window here we can say window one in one equals new window 
one.show dialog. Now remember, before we do our show dialog, we're going to say this, and now we want to call our public method, which is right here, display employees. And so we'll say display employees. Now we've got a problem here because we need to display our list of employees. We'll notice that we're doing that up here. Well, in order just, it's generally nice to just make sure you have like one list that you're sort of using throughout your application. So what I would do is do something like, you know, I'm going to create my own list here. So then now that we have our list, we can say list of employees equals this. And so now it's set as a class level variable and we can use it in multiple places. So that way our data grid gets it set. Oh, whoops, forgot the semicolon. So we use our class to get the employees, set it on this curtain current window and then we open up our other window when the button's clicked and we display that on the other window by using this display employees. So again, just to recap, we have a class that holds all of our attributes. We have another class that sort of manages it, you know, kind of a typical paradigm here that I like to use where we create that list of the employees, create some objects here in our main window. We can instantiate that class, extract the employees, bind that to our data grid, and then show you how to pass that list around. Thank you.